Today I'm going to show you how to transform a video into a GIF or GIF and I'm going to show you two different options to do this one from a computer and another one from a phone so at the end you can decide which option is better for you we're gonna use Canva and all the features that we're going to use today are completely free so if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer so let's start with the computer option let's go to canva.com and go to the video section i already have this section open and from here you can select the dimensions that you want to use for your gif so you have the landscape mode 1920 by 1080 you have a square format it is called Facebook video, but actually you can use this square format for other social media platforms. Then we have again another landscape mode, a vertical mode, and so on. If you want to create a GIF with a custom size, you can use this button right here and you can enter the width, height, you can enter pixels, inches, millimeters or centimeters. For this project, I will go for the Facebook video option so create blank Canva opened the editor and I will go to the uploads section because I want to use one of my videos for this GIF. So go to uploads and from here you can upload your own media. I already uploaded mine so it is right here. With just one click I can bring it to my empty Canva. Let's rotate the video if you need to. Now let's stretch this video so we feel the background with the video and then double click on it if you need to adjust the position of the video. Now I'm gonna trim the video because I don't want to create a GIF with all this clip. I just need to crop or trim a little section of this video so let me try to find the section that I need. Let's go to zoom thumbnails and make this one smaller. I think the clip that I want is right here at the end. So somewhere here. I want to create a funny GIF. <laughs> so I want to have these funny expressions in here just right when I get the paper in front of me somewhere here when we see my expression and then I will drag this lateral until I meet my guide let me just double check perfect this is what I want to use for my gif now I want to teach you an extra tip in case that you want to add text to your gif go to the text section add a heading and here you can customize the text so let's say that I want to type oh my god I'm gonna use only uppercase. Now let's add an outline to this text. Go to effects and select splice. From here we're gonna move the offset to zero and then if you want you can also add more thickness. I guess this one will depend on the font that you are going to use and then you can also change the color that is inside of the text so I will go for yellow and then if you want you can also change the font from here I'm gonna stay with this font right here and position my text box somewhere here now let's download this video as a gif or gif <laughs> let me know in the comments which pronunciation you prefer gif or gif Now let's go to share, go to download and from here you will select the file type GIF and download. And before we move on, 
to the phone tutorial I wanted to ask you something because we can actually use these GIFs as stickers on WhatsApp but I don't know if any of you is interested in learning how to make these GIFs into WhatsApp stickers if you guys are interested please let me know in the comments and I can make a video for you guys Now let me show you the steps using a phone and if you don't know Canva you can actually download Canva if you have an Android or iPhone. So I have Canva right here and let's open it. Here we are in the homepage. Now let's go to the video section. It is here on the top of the screen and we're gonna select the dimension that we need so i will go for facebook video if you want to create a custom size go to the plus icon below and from here you can select custom size add the width and the height as i mentioned i will go for facebook video which is a square format and create blank I will go to the uploads section, select upload media and upload your video. As you can see, my video is uploading and I'm going to wait until this loading bar disappears before I start working on my GIF. If you don't wait for your video to be fully uploaded to Canva, you may have issues downloading your GIF. So just wait until your video is ready. Okay, my video is done. I don't see the loading bar anymore, so I just need to tap on it. And I have the video on my empty page. If you want, you can go to more and set video as background. This is an easy step to stretch your video and make it as big as your background. Now I'm gonna double tap so I can adjust the position of my video and then done. Now to trim my video, I just need to select this thumbnail that we see below and drag this lateral. So I end up only with the little section that I want for my GIF. So I know that is almost at the end of my video. So it's somewhere here. Okay, I have the beginning. And now for the end, I'm gonna find it dragging this other lateral. Okay, I have the little section ready. Now let's add text. So go to the plus icon and select text, add a heading. Go to the menu below and select effects. Select splice and tap one more time. So basically you are tapping two times on this effect so you can access the settings. Now move the offset to zero. If you want, you can add some thickness to the outline of your text and you can change the color from here. I'm gonna choose a yellow color. And then if you want to customize the text inside the text box, you can use either this button or you can double tap on the text box. Because I want my text to be all caps, I will go to the menu below, select format and then select this option right here. Now my text is all caps. I'm gonna adjust the location and the size of my text box. And now we are ready to transform or convert this mp4 into a gif so select the share icon on the top of the screen go to download and from here select gif and then download and this is the final outcome. If you are still watching this video, please let me know by leaving this emoji in the comments. And if you liked this tutorial, I think you're gonna love this other tutorial in which I teach you how to create videos with transitions, sound effects, and music. Also, if you want to learn more about our courses and free trials, make sure to click on this link. I think this is it for today. I hope you liked this video and to see you in the next one. Bye!